Doug Higgins takes a closer look at the satellite's track. Doug, do they have a handle on this yet? Uh, so far, uh, we, we've got a good handle of where it is right now. That, that, that's easy to do. We're tracking it pretty good. But where it's going to land, that's the hard part. And the reason for that is we, we, we've got its motions going all the way around the Earth. We're tracking that easily. But when it's going to fall out of the atmosphere or into the atmosphere, I should say, that's a little bit harder. Now here's the current track and right now it took us about an hour ago and this was the, the satellite was located right here off of Africa. It continued to make its way north. Its current location is actually right here off of Alaska and the track over the next few passes near North America will take it offshore and will continue to take it into the Pacific Ocean as it continues to make its way across the Earth. So the good news for us is I don't think it's going to be hitting anywhere near North America at this point in time, but where it exactly does fall, if it's going to be in the Pacific Ocean or possibly some areas in South America, still not sure. One thing I do know, I've got my car outside, it's yeah. got some rust on it, the air conditioning work. If it gets hit with a piece of debris from mm -hmm. this, I could sell it at auctions for tens of thousands, if That's not hundreds. True. Of yeah. thousands of dollars. People have done that before by cars being hit by meteorites. So. Ah. I'm hoping. You've got it all set. I've just got to drive down to South America, maybe, or, or into the ocean. There you go. Pete. <laughs>